I'm a sophomore cross country runner, Leighton Betcher Leighton. Um, finally get out there, get to race against somebody else with Bethany Luther and some alumni. How did it feel to actually just get to race rather than, than practice? Um, it was good. Uh, there's a, well, not too much competition today, but the alumni were pretty strong. Um, it's nice to get to test the legs before an 8K. Uh, everyone looked good today. so um, How it felt to race. Uh, it was good. I felt strong. Uh, we had a big pack up there. Um, it broke up after mile two, and people just started going. It felt great. All right. And a lot of alumni came back, um, almost as many as we have runners here on the, on the team. Um, some of them you race with, some of them are older, you wouldn't know. How did it feel to be around the alumni and just get to meet some of the older guys and be around the guys that you got to run with? Well, uh, first to be around the guys that graduated last year was great. Um, they were a huge influence. Uh, I, looked, I look up to them still a lot. Um, and to meet the new guys, some of the older guys that I didn't get to race with is great because you get to hear old stories, how they did, how they're doing now. Um, Plus, you get to make connections, say you want to do internships with them, it's great. It's good to meet them. Great. Well, Layton, thank you for your time. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. I'm with head cross country coach Dale Barr. Uh, coach Barr, first race today, the alumni race held annually. Um, how did you think it went? What, what, what's your feeling about how your team performed? Let's start with the men. The men, uh, you know, it was interesting. We've got a good group of alumni that always come back and, and they're very strong. So um, it's a good test for us. Uh, anytime we come in, uh, two weeks of practice prior to uh, a meet like this, you know, they're up in their mileage, they're up in their intensity. Uh, they're pretty dragged out by the time we get all of our meetings and everything's taken care of. So um, we come into it tired. Alumni come in fresh. Um, you know, I, I just like to see them come out here and compete, even though we know we're not going to be at our, our, our best and it's early season, which is okay. Uh, we still want to see them be able to come out here and compete and, and see the drive inside them. So I think we accomplished that today. I think they, they, they look good. Um, we had some higher mileage people back a little bit, uh, and I expect them to be up a little bit further later in the season when their mileage comes down and they're able to get some recovery. Now, speaking of being competitive, um, that's one of the things you were really looking for today. How did you feel that went today, and how are you going to um, try and progress that going forward throughout the season? Well, as far as you know, the competitiveness, um, you know, I think each person, especially coming into the season, you know, they kind of feel, you know, they kind of try to feel out the team early and see what's happening. Um, I like to see them be competitive, and I think they were today. That you know, there's definitely running as a pack early, and that helps them, you know, kind of pull through that first part of the race, the first half, um, and then after that, it breaks up, and everybody does their thing, and that's where you kind of see how competitive it is. You know, this is a little bit different because today we raced a 5K, and typically we race an 8K. Um, so you know, you got different people playing different roles, you know, running the different distances. But I think as we move forward through the season, we're going to see, um, you know, we're going to see them just compete. And I, you know, I think because we have such a strong pack, um, we're going to continue to push that pack through the season and and help each other along. And as the, you know, race distances get a little further, the pack might break up a little bit earlier, and and it may break up. You know, we try to hold them a big group together later in the pack, in the, the race, and so um, to just give more support from teammates. But I think we're going to see a nice short gap between our first runner and our seventh runner all season long. Now it brought a lot of alumni back, um, yes. nearly as many alumni as we have members of the team. Yeah. How, did it, how was it to see those guys again, get to catch up, get to see them? You know, that's always a pleasure. You know, they come in, they share four years with you, you know, and I, this is, I'm going to be going into my 13th year as, head, as coach. And, um, you know, so I know almost all the alumni that are back. And, you know, anytime you can build those relationships from year to year and, and the importance of them coming back, it just shows that they're, they're into the team still and they're into running. So we don't just teach them four years of running and get out of here. We teach them life skills, things that they can build on. And, and you know, obviously, if we can keep it fun throughout their college career, they're going to keep running as alumni. And, and to see the alumni come back and win the men's race, you know, they're fit. They're, they're ready to go and they love this race and they like winning. So, um, that, so it's very fun to have them come back. Great. Well, thank you, Coach Barr. Good luck the rest of the season. You're welcome. Thank you.